Right, so today I'm going to be trying another method to reduce the temperatures on the laptop. So outside it's currently minus 3 degrees Celsius. And right now I've got a program here that will put a load on the processor and then this program will monitor the temperatures. Um, so right now the fans on the laptop are actually off because it's quite cool. The core max is 34 degrees at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put a load on the laptop. And now you should see the red. Oh, yep, the red is the CPU usage and the yellow is the frames per second in this image. You can hear the fan firing up and the temperatures are increasing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this heat up and then I'm going to take the laptop outside into the cold, minus 3 degrees and see if that has any impact on the temperature. So I'll let it get up to heat and then I'll come and get back to you once it's reached its highest. Right, so you can see that the frame rate's come down slightly. We're now down to 282. I'm not sure where it was before. You can rewind the video if you want to see. Um, but it's already seemed to reach a maximum of 63 degrees and the fans are actually quite quiet. Um, so there's all the different cores up here. So now what I'm going to do is take it outside into minus 3 degrees temperature. And you can see it's, the, it's currently 10 past 10 in the morning. Just open the door here and out you go. So, so you can we zoom in temperatures. I can see that the temperatures are 62 now. 59. That's in the lowest core. Right, so let's just give it a wee minute and see. If it goes down, I'll get back to you once it's if it shows any drops. Right, so we're back about four minutes after we set it outside. Temperatures have gone down to 60 degrees, uh, although the first the core zero has gone down to 56. Um, the frame rate, I don't know if you can see that, has gone up to 287, which is an awful lot higher than it was before. About, well, not an awful lot, about 15 frames higher. Um, so it is, it's improving performance I think, it's not really lowering the temperatures, but what I think we'll do now, is because it seems to have stabilised out again, it's just turned the screen off, is I'm going to put the laptop to sleep, leave it out there for a good half hour, and then I'll come back and see what it's like to use then, so I'll just tell it to go to sleep. Oh, I don't know what that is. Sleep. Yeah. Let's wait until the light goes off. Now just close it over and let it just sit out there for another half an hour. There we'll be back. And we're back about 40 minutes later. So it's been sat out in minus 3 degrees for the last 40 minutes. So I'll just go and retrieve it. And close the door. Oh, that is freezing. So I'll turn it on. And it comes straight back up. Oh. Fan is off. Temperature, 25 degrees. So it heats up quite quickly. Oh, but the frame rate's down to 51. Is it too cold? I'll open up. 
crystal disc info and that'll tell me how what the temperature is of the SSD. <coughs> Which shouldn't heat up quite as quickly. Seven degrees. <laughs> Let's just check a couple of things work. Let's try the DVD drive. Yep, it opens. The fan is coming on. I can feel cold air coming out of it. The whole laptop is absolutely freezing. That's it, just played the note right there for logging back in. Screen's cold. It's absolutely freezing. But what I'm gonna do Let's check because there's moisture coming on, forming on the outside. You can see moisture in it there. If I open this up, so there it is. So the fan is spinning slightly. This is getting warm already. The SSD's freezing. Everything's freezing. Even the battery. Is, what's it? What's the battery life at? Seventy percent. Not bad, I was actually expecting it to be a lot lower than that. I thought it would have began to freeze up the battery. So anyway, that's how you cool down a computer. Even sitting on the carpet right now, it's only... I mean, it's getting back up to its temperature. <clears throat> but if you feel that, that is extremely cold. So anyway, that's it for this one um, and I'll also give you one more way to cool down your laptop if you're having overheating issues this laptop doesn't have any issues but I know an awful lot of laptops will have issues so I'm just gonna let's see our frame rate is really low on this for some reason look at that it's only at 64 She's an awful lot of RAM as well. No, it's not that, it's just confused. I think there's only about 6 and 3 quarter gigs left. But there's actually, there's an awful lot more, there's about 10 gigs left. But anyway, <clears throat> that's it for um, the low temperature scenario. Um, but I'll also show you how to cool it down with increased airflow. Right, here's just a quick video on how to improve laptop cooling performance. Um, hopefully for cheap, if you have the thing that we need. Although I think it's pretty common to have. So, I've got IDA, IDA 64 running here on the laptop. And it usually hits about high 60s, 68, 69. And stays about there. Uh, I've just clicked something. But anyway, yeah. It's that's pretty much the temperature it gets to. Um But how to improve that? I've already cleaned out the dust, replaced the thermal paste, and that brought it down from thermal throttling to this below 70 degree. But if you want to take it even further, this is where the vacuum cleaner comes in. So you can either use a wee handheld one like this with a thin nozzle or a, a, a big one with a thin nozzle. Um, this one has a max suction mode um, and I'm going to use that now. But if you're planning on actually using this, which is probably not very convenient, you could use the high suction extended run. So let's go max suction and we'll line this up with the back of the laptop at the cooler and I'm going to turn it on in three, two, one, go. loud because I was holding it on its side and it had a ton of stuff in it but you can see the difference that made so just an idea it turned out it worked really well so 
If you want, you can give it a try, but as proof of concepts, it works. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.